there is a close relationship between a tree and the human. A tree can become your friend. You plant it and you follow it, you prune it, and then you eat the fruits. And the tree is telling you when you do something wrong. In 1945, there were 70,000 hectares of orchard meadows at this period. And at the end of the 60s, there were 6,000. We lost a lot, a lot, a lot. There was a big problem on the market. There was too many apples. Prices went down. And EEC decided to give money for destroying apple trees varieties that were not on the market. Many hectares have been cut down, dropped out. Many varieties was disappearing too. Big mistake. This diversity, when it is disappearing, you will never get it back. Only five cultivars are producing 50% of the whole apple production in Europe. The genetic base is very, very narrow. When you reduce too drastically the genetic diversity of a cultivated plants, it is always very, very dangerous. They are disease susceptible. The wall system that can break down. People began to be very aware about what happened. All trees are disappearing. And we received so many letters, many thousands of letters, asking, come in my farm. I'm old, my tree is very important, more than I. I will pass out, please help me to save them. Those trees were expressing a lot of diversity. It was really time to, to do something, to collect so fast as possible what was remaining, to be sure that we conserve and we can use it. We go to the orchards, have a look on the tree, and then we take the youngest twig of the tree, we graft it on a rootstock. And then we are sure that we have collected the right variety. And those trees will be planted in an evaluation orchard. From the beginning, we never sprayed uh, orchards at all. We could never imagine that we could collect so many cultivars. At least we have really different varieties, more or less 1,000. It is very important to work together, to share experience, to develop a common way of work. Forty years ago, ECPGR was born, European Cooperative Programme for Plant Genetic Resources, where many passionate people, scientists, meet together and share their experience. The expert of each crop, for wheat, for potatoes, for apple, for beet. There are different working groups helping mankind to maintain the diversity. Having a collaboration at the European level is very, very important. We are very aware to combine our energy in one centralized database where we can store everything what we can collect at the local place. It will be more and more important sharing responsibilities for keeping this diversity and for making use of it. Because together, we are stronger. Nowadays, everybody is interested in what we are doing. To discover the diversity of taste and the pleasure to eat something healthy, the nursery people, the fruit growers, the farmers are beginning to plant again orchard meadows. And that is really motivating.